Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bill Chen. I'm Nimikum. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of Ulysses. Yes. L. Ulysses. James Joyce. Tau. Ten six sixteen. Twenty nine Windsor Avenue. Love is the name. That's right. For the Kali said. The Reverend Mr. Love. He's a minister in the country somewhere. But are you sure of that? You can tell Barbas from me. Ben Dullard said. That he can put that right where Jekyll put the mats. He led Father Kelly boldly forward. Linked to his book. Fullboards, I believe they were. Mr. Didalus said. As he dropped his glasses on his cork frame. Following them. The youngster will be all right. Martin Cunningham said. As they passed out of the castle yard gate. The policeman touched his forehead. God bless you. Martin Cunningham said. Surely. He signed to the waiting jervy who checked at the reins and set on towards. Wardedwood Street. Brands by gold. Miss Kennedy's head by Miss Dew's head. Appeared above the crisp blend of the Ormond Hotel. Yes. Martin Cunningham said. Fingering his beard. I wrote to Father Comey and laid the whole case before him. You could try our friend. Mr. Parr suggested backward. Bide. Martin Cunningham said shortly. Touch me not. John Wisenallan. Lagging behind. Weeding the list. Came after them quickly down Corkell. On the steps of the City Hall Councillor Nanetti. Descending. Hail Dolderman Kelly and Councillor Abraham Lyon on ascending. The castle car will empty into Upper Exchange Street. Look here. Martin. John Wise Nolan said. Overtaking them at the mail office. I see Blim put his name down for five shillings. Quite right. Martin Cunningham said. Taking the list. And put down the five shillings too. Without a second word you there. Mr. Parr said. Strange but true. Martin Cunningham added. John Wise Nolan opened wide eyes. I'll say there is much kindness in the Jew. He quoted. Elegantly. They went down Parliament Street. There's Jimmy Henry. Mr. Parr said. Just heading for Kavanaugh's. Friday. Martin Cunningham said. Here goes. 
outside Lam Mason Clare Blizz's Boylan Willie Jack Minnie's brother in law. Ampe. Fit. Making for the Liberties. John Wise Nolan fell back with Mr. Power. While Martin Cunningham took the elbow of a dapper little man in a sheriff. Hail suit. He walked uncertainly. With hasty steps past Mickey Anderson's watches. The assistant town clerk squands are giving him some trouble. John Wise Nolan told Mr. Parr. They followed round the corner towards James Kavanagh's wine rooms. The empty castle car fronted them at rest in a six gate. Martin Cunningham, speaking always, showed off in the list of which Jimmy Henry did not glance. And Long John Finning is here too, John Wise Nolan said. As large as life. The tall form of Long John Finning filled the doorway where he stood. Good day. Mr. Sub Sheriff, Martin Cunningham said, as all halted and greeted. Long John Finning made no way for them. He removed his large Henry Clay decisively and his large face eyes scowled intelligently over all their faces. Are the conscript fathers pursuing their peaceful deliberations? He said with rich accurate utterance to the assistant town clerk. Hell open to Christians they were having. Jimmy Henry said bitchly about their damned Irish language. Where was the marshal? He wanted to know. To keep order in the council chamber. An old barrel of the Miss Burr laid up with Isma. No mace on the table. Nothing in order. No quorum even. Anne Hutchinson. The Lord Mayor. In London, no one little log and Sherlock doing law maintenance for him. Dan Irish language. The language of our forefathers. On John Fanning blew a plume of smoke from his lips. Martin Cunningham spoke by turns, twirling the peak of his beard. To the assistant town clerk in the subjury, while John Wise Nolan held his peace. What dignum was that? On John Fenning asked. Jimmy Henry made a grimace and lifted his left foot. Oh, my corns. He said plaintively. Come upstairs for goodness sake till I sit down somewhere. Off. Thrower. Mind. Testily he made room for himself beside Long John Fanning's flank and passed in and up the stairs. Come on up, Martin Cunningham said to the sub sheriff. I don't think you knew him, or perhaps you did. Though, with John Wise now and Mr. Parr followed them in. Decent little soul he was. Mr. Pye said to the stalwart back of Long John, Finning ascending towards Long John. Finning in the mirror. Rather low sized. Dignum of maintenance of his that was. Martin Cunningham said. 
Ong John Fenning could not remember him. Clatter of horses sounded from there. What's that? To be continued.